Welcome to the Interesting Podcast, number 23. Uh, this episode is my buddy Alejandro. Uh, you might know him as Uneven Pictures all over the internet. Uh, Alejandro is a prop maker. He's a musician. Um, but my favorite thing about him is he's a magician. Magician, you heard that correctly. The dude does magic. And and actually, right before we... Uh, we sat down at this table uh, to record this podcast. There was somebody left some change on the table, and we're like, "Oh, that's really weird." And he picked up a coin and then made it disappear. So, <laughs> at the beginning of this, I'm like, "Oh my god!" And I'm like, kind of all over the place because a coin just disappeared, and I'm like freaking out because when I see magic, I go back to like ten years old. It's amazing. Uh, but that's a great talk. I mean, we talk about that. We talk about different props that he's made. He made. Um, the Hand of Doom from Hellboy, like from scratch out of foam, and it looks incredible. Highly recommend you check that out. Um, we talked about current projects that he's working on, um, dream costumes from both of us. Uh, a special announcement is uh, is in here, an exclusive as to a new project that'll be coming out from me soon that may or may not be another podcast about Star Wars, but you'll see about that. Um, we talked about the Black Series helmets coming out. And then the last bit is uh, is Pokemon Go. So if anyone is interested about the Pokemon Go Plus, we, t- we break that down. Like good things, bad things, how it works. If you had any questions, I most likely asked them and he answered. Uh, but yeah, so there's that. And this intro is already uh, dragging on a bit, but I keep talking. I don't know why. But anyway... Hope you guys enjoy this uh, interesting podcast, episode number 23, with Uneven Pictures, Alejandro. Roll the theme song. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah. That's awesome. That one is yours. Yeah. Get right up on it. Yeah. That's crazy. Hello. <laughs> That's cra- that is amazing. All right. So nobody nobody knows this because it's a podcast that hadn't started yet, but he just did a magic trick with a coin. <laughs> so I'm going to be a little all over the place for a while because I'm still kind of freaking out <laughs> about it. You're still like, what? Yeah, I can't believe it. I'm still wondering where the coin is. <laughs> I don't know, man. He disappeared. <laughs> You're like, it's gone. He's in the shadow realms right yeah. now. <laughs> That's where everything goes now. There's a specific section of the Shadow Realm it's owned just by coins. you. Yeah, it's just it's coins. Just coins. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. All right, Everett, this is Alejandro. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. And, uh, okay, when, when did we meet? We I think met? we met you were dressed as the guy from... Watch Dogs. Watch no, Dogs. I was going to say Watchmen, but it was no, Watch Dogs? We met before that, actually. Okay. I don't remember what I was wearing, but... I remember the pictures that we took. We took like three in a row. Yeah. Of you like oh, beating me up Joker. for the cabbages. Joker. That's what it was. I was really? kidding. your Joker. And that's when I first met you. Interesting. Yeah. Like when I first like really talked to you. you yeah, know? yeah. 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 Okay. Because I know your Joker and I know mm-hmm. your watchdogs. Yeah. Like the watchdogs were the second time we met. Okay. That, that was, was like where we super. took a bunch of pictures. Yeah. And it was like a story. Yeah. Exactly. That okay. was cool. That was cool. That was cool. So that was a while ago now. That was yeah. what? Uh, that's Supercon, uh, not, I wasn't at this year's. Was it last year's or the year before? No, it was the year before. 2014. Yes. Had to have been. Oh, man. <laughs> that's crazy. It's, that's been it's a been while. It's been some time, yeah. And uh, luckily, I've only had a podcast for a year. So it's not like we've been <laughs> oh, waiting okay. you know, a bunch of years <laughs> to get you on. It's been since last year. Like, yeah, exactly. And you made last year, so it's like technically a year. Like, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Time flies. <laughs> yeah, it time does. Flies. So you cosplay things. I cosplay things. Uh, I I like to think of myself as a prop maker. As a prop maker. Okay. Yes. Okay. I think that that's uh. I can't make props, so I'm yeah. like, oh, cabbages. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, here, cabbage. Yeah, exactly. People <laughs> recognize me, and I give them cabbages. Here, thanks for making me feel better. <laughs> that's all. Awesome. So prop making, really. What is your favorite prop you've made so far? Um, 
Recently, I made the right hand of Doom from Hellboy. What? Yes. Did you really? Yes. You, you haven't seen it? Wait. Did Doris have it? Yes, Doris yes, has it. Yes, I did see it. <gasps> I yeah, didn't know I that made was that. you. Yeah, I made that. Dude. How do you, okay. How do you even attack something like that? Uh, like, a you, lot of procrastination. Start? Yeah? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you? I don't for as long as possible. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I kind of like let it sit in my head and, you know, I try to break it down to like the, the most basic layers, you know? Sure. And try to build up from it. You know? Okay. So, so you see it as shapes. Yeah. Essentially. So the idea was to make hers match her size. She's like a smaller girl, like yes. a skinnier. So I couldn't make the the one to one replica. Sure. You know? Wow. So you even made you made a a fist of doom proportionate. Specific. Proportionate to her size. That's exactly. amazing. Like if I wear it, it 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 looks a little bit small on me. Sure. But when she has it, it's perfect on her. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. So okay. And what's it it's made of foam? It's made of foam. Yeah, I work with EVA foam like 90% of the time. When did you start doing that? Actually, it's been like four years really? since I started. Like my first, my first prop sure. was Juna Staff. Oh, okay. Yes. From Final Fantasy. From Final Fantasy. Right and, on. And I look back at it and it's like, oh man, I could have done so much better. Sure. <laughs> I don't even yeah. like looking at it. Yeah, I don't even like looking at it. You know? Sure. Uh -huh. Do you, do you just kind of figure it out and wing it, or do you look for tutorials first, um, or do you like what's your what's your process? I was very interested on it. Uh huh. And I found Bill Duran. Um, oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Bill Duran. I'm sure you heard of him. Yeah, he's you know? got a book out and everything. Exactly. He's fantastic. So I started looking him up, and then I started looking up some more tutorials, trying to like gather as much information as I could sure. before like trying to dive in there. Sure. But once I had like a general idea, I just dropped cash on it. Like I was like, all right, so I need like these tools. Okay, I got a Dremel. I got a, like a, right. I got a barge. You know, like it's super good yeah, for yeah. like boom. It's the like. Uh, what's his name? Contact Evil Ted man. uses yeah, it. Yeah, Evil Ted uses all the time. Yeah, Evil Ted is also great. Yeah. You know? So, um, all those little things, like, I started, like, gathering, grabbing something from this guy, grabbing things from that guy, you know? Kamui Cosplay is also amazing. Sure, yeah, yeah. She's incredible. So, I learned a lot from, like, a lot of people, and then I just kind of figure things on my own. So that's exactly yeah. what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they make out, for people that don't know, there's Kamui Cosplay, there's Bill Duran, Punish Props. Punish Props, yeah. There's uh, Evil Ted Evil channel. Ted. Yeah. There's all these people that basically teach you the basics on how to work with the foam. Exactly. Like they and teach you like how to cut it. They yeah. teach you what you could use to glue it or like seal it. Sure. You know? And then they teach you like, uh, yeah, like heating to, yeah. Fo to form it and then things like that. And basic skills that you can in turn interpret Into, on top of stuff. Exactly. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's like, pretty cool. The hardest, like after you learn the basics, I think one of the hardest parts is to uh, actually break down the cosplay. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like a brand new piece. Like... Um, for this year, I work on Saiyan Armors. Oh, right yeah. on. Yeah, like I think uh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah there was a group. It was a group. Yeah, yeah right you know, on. They were uh, Genju, the Genju Force, yes. right? Yes. Um, and at first, I wanted it so like the top piece was mm. separate from the bottom to have him like a little like more mobility. Okay. Sure. To have sure. a little bit more mobility, and um, but it didn't work out. <laughs> sure. Like I wasted a lot of foam on that, um, so I just had to like go back to the one piece thing, which I kind of don't like because. It restricts them a little bit. Sure. But it ended up looking pretty good. Sure. Uh, that makes I'm sense. Because really if you've got it separated, they'll be kind of janky when they're walking. Exactly. Any sort of movement. That yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. That's pretty cool. Thank I don't you. know how to do any of that <laughs> at all. I barely know how to sew. I have a sister that I just like throw fabric at. And I was oh, like, really? Can you fix this for me? <laughs> I got my girlfriend. Like, whenever I need fabric, hey, she, she take care of the fabric. I'll take care of the props. That's a good team. Yeah. That's, a good that's, team. A, that's the team right there. We had. Um, I, I've done Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly, uh -huh. and he has a stripe going down the side of his pants. And mm -hmm. the pants that I have are actual, like, 1800s canvas pants. Oh, I see. And we had to sew the stripe down on canvas pants. So we had it to where I kind of fed the fabric into the machine, and then she sewed it. So oh. we had, like, two people on a machine <laughs> with canvas pants. He's, like, kind pants. of learning a little bit. You know, yeah. Really, yeah. Uh, it was awful. I'm, like, terrified. I'm going to, like, send it into my finger, and I'm like, you do that it. Is, that is a thing that – that is exactly why – I have not gotten close right? to that machine because he has a, like a heavy duty one. Yeah. Like that thing can pierce through my finger oh, if I mess up. God. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to lead you to it. Yeah. yeah. That, that's why I don't use electric razors. Oh. Terrified. <laughs> you terrified of those? Terrified. I feel yeah. like I, I saw one once and I imagined like it getting stuck and then it pulled my whole face off like a cartoon. It doesn't. But yeah. it does hurt like a bitch like yeah. when they get they get stuck and they kind of like yeah. pull it out. Like, nope, Ugh. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm yeah, just I'll I, stick I just like I'll stick with my acoustic razor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <The> acoustic. <laughs>
That's crazy. So you do, you've do. you done Steven Universe. I've done Steven Universe. Do you play ukulele? I do. I pl actually learned to play the ukulele for that. Yeah? yeah I've, so I've been teaching myself ukulele for like six, eight months. Oh, nice. Eight months or so. It's fun. I mean, I had some music uh, abilities Same. before, you know, like I learned how to, uh, I know how to play guitar. And oh, right on. Like um, recorder, piano. Sure. You know? Really? Yeah. So like picking up the ukulele wasn't that hard. I'm the same. I played bass for like three years. Oh, really? Two or three years. Yeah, I wasn't good. But <laughs> 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 a very basic knowledge of stuff. I'm, I, I was decent. I'll say I was decent. I wasn't All right. bad. All right. Um, but then ukulele, the strings are weird. Yeah, they you are. You know what I mean? It's like you've got the tall one, the, the really high one, right next to the super low one. Exactly. And and you and know, like, so that threw me off at first, too. Yeah. Like when I was trying to tune it, because like they give you one and it's like uh, untuned, so you have to kind of yeah. figure it out yourself. And I was like... All right, probably the same as a guitar, and it's like it sounded nothing like it should have. And no. I'm like, it's like I, I mean, need it's to look like this up. G C E A, yeah, I think it's a standard tuning of uke, and dude, but it's super fun because it's so yeah, tiny, it and I've got like small meerkat hands, so it helps a lot. <laughs> yeah, Bass like, is so hard. Usually on Fridays, I just uh, bring out Steven, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I start like singing around, you know. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I can't sing to save my life, so I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I can whistle though. I, I can sing a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I can, can like. I can whistle anything. Really? I'm very, very Go good it. at whistling. I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> because this is a recording, and if I'm yeah, bad it, at it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're bad at it, it'll stay there forever. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'll do it, and then I'll just edit it out. <laughs> Uh, whistling I could do. I like ukulele a lot. Like, I'm going to go walk the dog or something, just take the ukulele out. Yeah. I know a couple chords. I don't know what they're called, but I know them. Yeah, you know the, f the formation, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can, like, I learn songs. Uh -huh. Well, I'll pick out a song, and, like, I learned... Um, uh, leaving on a jet plane, uh -huh. you know, from like Armageddon yeah, and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. a slow, kind of depressing song. Yeah. But if you play it on a ukulele it and like, like mix happy. a strum pattern, yeah. you're just like, yeah. I love <laughs> it sounds it. like all happy. Yeah, it's right? super fun. You know what you should learn? What's that? Um, you should learn I'm Yours. Oh, yeah, from uh, uh, Jason Mraz. From Jason Mraz? Yeah. Because that same, the same uh, pattern can yeah. be translated to like so many chords, like really? so many songs. Yeah, it's a four chord rule kind of thing. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Any popular song is Any within popular these four chords. Any four chords. Interesting. Yeah. I'll have to do that. I do a lot of songs. I just, I just found out, and don't, for people listening, don't judge me. I just discovered Twenty One Pilots. Oh, really? Like three <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I, it was Suicide Squad. I saw Suicide Squad uh -huh. and their song Heathens is in. I was like, I really like this song. So what you who just this band is? Up. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, Twenty One Pilots. That sounds cool. I wonder if anybody knows who they are. <laughs> it's like that looks like, huge. It's, it's like, a huge thing. They sell out all over the world. There's somebody dressed as the lead singer. Are you serious? There's somebody here with a ukulele dressed as the person. And oh, I was that's like, funny. Oh my god! <laughs> and I remember. Uh, Maybe like two weeks ago, I was looking. I was like, I'm gonna see if I can find these people in concert, right? Uh -huh. Every, the whole world is sold out. So everybody knows 21 Pilots except for Holy me. Sh <laughs> I mean, I heard a couple of their songs. Yeah. But I'm the kind of guy that's like, that is cool. I'll download it later and completely forget about it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I was supposed to do something. <laughs> right. I've got a playlist. Uh, you know how YouTube, you've got like favorites. Yeah, yeah. Got, I have a special one for music that I'll just like put it there for later. Oh yeah. Work it. Like I should do that actually. Right. It's yeah. smart. I really like it. And it's like, I really like them, and I listen to a couple songs, and then I found out there's a ukulele. He has songs where he plays a ukulele. I was like, what is this band I've never heard of? I should look them up a little more now. I'm telling you. Yeah. I think it's, I think they have a song called Heart of Gold, maybe, or something. Heart something of Gold? Like I could be completely wrong. But I'll it look sounds, it up. Yeah. yeah. He plays we, a ukulele in it. We need a fact good. check. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe House of Gold. Maybe. People who are listening to 21 Pilots are going to be like, it's wrong, and like yelling at me on the <laughs> yeah. podcast. Uh, but no, that's good. I didn't know you played music. That's cool. Yeah, I, uh, I, I'm dabble. kind of a yeah. jack of all trades kind yeah. of thing. Well, I yeah. mean, I mean, I don't like to call myself that. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> what is that? Jack of all trades, master of none, or something like that. You're exactly like I can do that. a little bit of everything. Exactly that. That's cool. Yeah. I can do very little. You can. <laughs> I, if it's Star Wars, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you like yeah. traveling all around, man. Like, yeah. Oh, if it's man. if it's cabbages, I can I can hold my own. <laughs> I don't want to brag. But I've been around. You've been around cabbage. Do you yeah. know when they're like just right? Yeah, right? Yeah. I, I can tell. I can go to Publix and I know which cabbage I want. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. Uh, I played trombone for seven years. Really? And I was very good. Oh, man. I have confidence in very little things that I can do. But trombone. Trombone. Like I was the best in Collier County. You know what I really wanted great. to learn how to play? And What's I still that? got like, I still got this instrument in my home. I was just sure. there collecting You're dust. like, it's there. <laughs> Violin. Oh, man. Yes. I... I played one for like 10 minutes, and I think I deafened myself with the just <laughs> awful noise that came out of it. And I was like, this is not mine. This is not yeah. my instrument. Like, 
uh, there was a one day sale on Amazon for like an electric violin that is like hollow. Yeah. So it looks really cool. So I was like, oh my God, it was like super cheap. I got it. Yeah. And then I messed up the bow instantly. Oh no. <laughs> so. You just got really pumped. You're like, I got this. Me. So yeah. Dude. And that's 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 what happened. Violin's crazy. Violin oh. reminds me of trombone in the sense that like there's no definite positions. Yeah. It's a lot of ear. And violin, there's no frets. Yeah, there's no frets. I mean you can probably get some with frets, but you know what I mean? It's yeah. all and to see people going crazy with it is magic. Yes. Which is very a great magical. segue. <laughs> you are a magician. How, yes, I am. How did that start? Where did you first realize, oh I like magic? Well, Tell me, I tell mean, me that a, story. As many, you realize you like magic when you're like very ki- very little. You're sure. Like, you're a kid and you're like watching TV and I don't know. I think my first, uh, the first magician I ever saw was David Copperfield. Really? Uh, yeah. You've seen David Copperfield? Yeah, like, um, yeah. Dude. I know, right? <laughs> that's well, yeah, that's but a good, I was like, it's a good introduction. I, I was super small, you know, so I like, I barely knew what like this guy was or who he was. I just knew like what he was doing was cool. Right. Yeah. You yeah. know, so for a while I was really into it. You know, kind of like yeah, your, your as parents you get you the, the the magic kits and whatever, sure. you know, and then you lose all the pieces because you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, and yeah. You didn't feel like <laughs> reading the instruction book. You're you like, know? I have all the red balls in my hand, but how do I get them to this hand? Exactly. You know. <laughs> sure. So fast forward a bit. Okay. Uh, I need a job. So near a mall, um, near my house, right? Okay. They had a a magic kiosk, right? So I I apply. Sure. Oh, and to work at it. Yeah, to work at it, okay. right? And that's where I picked up everything that I know right now. Really? Yeah, I was working there for five years. Right on. Yes. It's a lot of practice. Yeah, so a lot of practice. I met a lot of like famous magicians that like would come to Miami and just search out like magic stores. Oh, okay. You know? yeah, yeah, so like I got tips from like great magicians that perform in New York and wow. Las Vegas and that's I so cool. got most of their names. Yeah, right. <laughs> you meet so many people. <laughs> sure. You know? Um but yeah, it, it's amazing. Dude. Yeah, sadly I don't work there anymore. Sure. But did you just like one day like throw down smoke and disappear? You're like I'm out. <laughs> yeah, actually that happened to me once. Like they moved the kiosk inside the mall. <laughs> like I went to work and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's not here. Like, it's what? not here. What? <laughs> what just happened? You're working at a magic stand and then one day <laughs> it it's disappears. not there. <laughs> I call my boss and it's like, um, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, I'm the like, magician and I'm confused. <laughs> you like that trick? And I was like, no. <laughs> I need to clock in. <laughs> Did the owner of the kiosk also do magic? Yes, he uh, his uh, his name is Alan Chamo. Alan Chamo. Yeah, if he's a professional magician. He does cruises a lot. He shows up on TV like he's like in Telemundo. Oh, right yeah. on! <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> like, aquí no aquí. Yes. He's <laughs> <laughs> like desapareció. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. There's yes. like a, a secret. You, you think, you know, with mall kiosks, you're like, yeah, it's okay, whatever. It's like, no, there's magicians in this mall, yeah. and they do magic. And the guy who owns it does it's magic and teaches people. Exactly. That, that is so cool. Yeah, and I picked up a lot of stuff, you know, besides, like, the regular, you know, card tricks and the gimmicks. Sure. You know, you learn a lot about, like, people and, like, psychology because sure. that helps you with the magics. And really? And from that, I also learned hypnosis. You know, we're not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> you you paused for a second. Like, like I also know hypnosis. hypnosis. <laughs> I got the glasses too, so I like <laughs> lower them slowly. <laughs> hypnosis. <laughs> I'm not gonna make eye contact anymore. <laughs> You're gonna blink twice, and then I'll start saying things. <laughs> really? Yes. That's cool. Yes. Like a lot of people think it's like fake, sure. but it's very real. Sure. You know, Absolutely. If you yeah. open yourself up to it, yeah, you exactly. Just get in there and start fuddling some wires. Yeah. So there's a lot of like. Stage practices to it, you know, for shows, and there's a lot of things that are really, like really good for like personal development. So sure, it's really nice. Yeah. Dude, how do you feel about the Prestige? The Prestige, the movie. Have you seen it? I just watched I actually, it yesterday. That's why I, I actually have not seen it. You've never seen it. I've never it's seen really it. good. Yeah, I actually, there's a lot of movies that people are like, "How have you not seen this? You're like into this." No, and that makes like, sense. Yeah. I've seen The Illusionist. No. Okay, that's no. fine. It's the slightly less good version of the Prestige. Oh. Yeah, uh, like they they told me that it's like the illusion is not as good. Yeah, yeah. it's they're very similar, you know, both mo- warring magicians and stuff. Yeah. I is saw there, I saw now you see me. That's a good one. That's that's, that's a, a pretty good one. I like one. the first one. Yeah, it's, I, the, it's the only Jesse Eisenberg movie I like. <laughs> yeah, he was good there. Yeah, the only was. thing I didn't like a lot is that there was a lot of CGI. Oh right, you know? <laughs> you're looking at you like that's not magic. Yeah, <laughs> so. That's pretty cool that yeah. you're like, no, that's not real. That's not real. You're like, I it's know like, real. That's not magic. how that works. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how that works. You can't <laughs> just turn into water, Jesse yeah. Eisenberg. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. 
So, all right, is it true that there are three steps to a magic trick? Three steps to a magic trick. What would those steps be? I don't remember the first two. <laughs> 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 the last one's called the prestige. <laughs> it's like, no, it's, I think it's called, God, I'm gonna, people listening to this are going to be like, you're wrong. I'm pretty sure it's, it's the promise, the turn, and the prestige. It's, three, it's like you promise something first. Like, okay, well, we're going to make this bird disappear or something, uh -huh. right? Then you get the bird, and then it's the turn. You make the bird disappear. It's uh -huh. like, oh, snap, that's crazy. But that's only half the trick. Yes. you got to make the bird come back. Yes. And that's considered the prestige. Yeah, the, yeah the that's actually like yeah? pretty accurate. Like, that, All right, so obviously I'm not going to ask you of secrets because a magician never tells. That's just bad manners. Magician's code, man. Yeah, magician's code. That's <laughs> a thing. Yeah, that is a thing. And it's really cool that that's <laughs> a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where all right, so you learned you got a magic kit as a kid, mm -hmm. right? And you're like, all right, cool, magic is cool. Then you learned at the kiosk in the mall. Yeah, like I learned most of the stuff that I perform nowadays there. Sure, yes. really. Did you learn at the mall, or did you go to a, like a secret hideout that was <laughs> in the walls of the mall? <laughs> I'm Actually, gonna, kind of. <laughs> I, I'm gonna build this up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, kind of. Um, really? No, but yeah, like a lot of the tricks were like showed there, like uh, levitation tricks and like stuff like that. Sure. You know, uh, day one, yeah. learn to fly. Kind of. Like, <laughs> late one, they were like, you're going to make this car levitate. And I was like, that is crazy. <laughs> you're <Like>. crazy. <laughs> you're insane. Yeah. Wow. You know? So, yeah, it was really good. But personally, right. a lot of tricks are, like, very gimmick. You know, like, you have to have a specific device, a specific sure. something, some, a specific setup to do them. Right? Right. Okay. Even though those tricks are amazing and I love to see them, I don't like to do them because they kind of, like, take away skill. You that know, makes so sense. I, I like the more skillful tricks, you know, like sure. like more card tricks or like, like coin getting tricks. rid of that coin. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's still gone, guys. It's not here. That coin is gone. It's banished. It's, it's banished to gone, the man. Shadow it's Realm. Like not, not Forget it's about it. Back. Yeah. It's not here anymore. Isn't that uh, that with the rest of the coin piles? You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's in the Shadow Realm where you Yeah, but like, what's cool about it is that I can bring it back whenever I want. You know, so it's like, oh, what's, what's behind your. Oh, what? <laughs> it's back, guys. That's crazy. Now it's a. That's like a devil coin. <laughs> it's been to the shadow realm and was He's brought like back. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, so what is what is uh, what are your favorite tricks to perform? My favorite tricks to perform. The cards, super, the super coins, cliche the like card tricks. Yeah, it's not yeah. really that. <laughs> yeah. It still blows my mind. Yeah, um, but I. It's not about the tricks that I like to perform. Sure. It's about how I like to perform them. Okay. You know? So you say about you promise something, you make it happen, and then you make it come back. Sure. Right? What I do is that I, I promise something, I make it happen, then I promise something else, and I play with your expectations. Ah, uh, you know? okay, okay. So I tell you, let, let's say, boom, card, card is gone. Right. And it's going to show up right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this was not your card. Hold it for me. Keep it tight. All right. right. Is that your card? You were sure? Look at it again. That is ins that blows my mind every just, I'm imagining it and I'm blown away just by <laughs> thinking about it oh you should do it like that, I should do it to you later that is insane that you're like yeah. oh the card that you're holding that I you control make, everything yeah, about like it you made sure that card wasn't yours yeah think again <laughs> that's insane so what was the first trick you ever learned the first trick I ever learned mm -hmm. uh, the first trick I ever learned it, it was like a like a base that had like a like a special shape uh -huh. Right, so you could fill it up with water, show it empty, like snap your fingers, and it's back with water again. So you can like oh, what? infinitely, like spawn water inside it. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it was really cool. Like I, I had it for a long time. It was like tiny because it was like you know like from the kit. Sure. Okay. You know? But um, I found out they had like professional versions that are huge, like very big, very nice looking. Sure. And I've been wanting to get one of those for the longest time. Sure. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That is crazy. I had um, I went to, what was it? I think Islands of Adventure. Islands of Adventure. Oh, yeah. I, I know they have like like uh, kiddos, yeah, the, like yeah, a little magic show thing, and then they sell kits afterwards. Yeah. And I bought the Fire Wallet. Oh, I love that it's trick. So much fun. I love that trick. Except so much. for when you're at like a fancy restaurant. Don't do it at a fancy. No, restaurant. Don't do it at they a fancy don't like restaurant. it. They they, they will kick I you out. I liked it. They didn't like yeah. it at all. They're like, oh, it's time to pay. How much was it? All right. Well, oh yeah. Oh. And they're like, what the hell? Yes. <laughs> That yeah. was insane. That Actually, we used to do that at inside the mall, but we had to do it when no security was around. Right. Yeah. Like, we were like, oh, let me show you something. Wait, hold up. Turns around. Like, oh. Right. All right, we're good. <laughs> That's great. Have you traveled for magic before? Have like, I traveled for magic? Have you gone to Vegas? Magic? Have you gone to do any no, there? No, actually, I, I have not traveled a lot, actually. For, really? I'm, I'm from Peru, so I oh, came right to on. the U.S., what part? right? Um, Lima, the capital. Oh, I know where that is. <laughs> In theory. I couldn't point to it on a map, but 
I know the capital is yeah. Lima. <laughs> I can highlight it. It's like, no, that's wrong. It's exactly. Here. I'm gonna. I know Peru is in South America, <laughs> so I think we're doing pretty area. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. it's uh, not far from uh, Brazil. We're right next to Brazil, that's so right. you're close. <laughs> hey, see, I, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, of course. That was a guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I actually control a lot. You know? Yeah. yeah, I've been like very busy per se. You know, like sure. within school, work on whatever. Mm-hmm. I haven't even gone to like Disney. Really? Yes. Well, actually, I can't say that surprised because I, I moved down here when I was six, uh-huh. and I just went to Disney like three years ago. Oh, okay, so I'm not the so only one that is like a no, late bloomer kind no, of thing. No, I was like uh, 19 or so before I'm, I went to Disney. Well, I'm 25, and I still haven't Me too. Gone. <laughs> What's your birthday? When is your birthday? You first. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, <laughs> November 5th. 90? Remember, remember the 5th of November of 91. 91? Yes. I'm older than you. You're older than me. I am. Wait, when is your birthday? Uh... Wait, did you say 90 or 91? I'm 90 w- I'm 91. I'm still thinking about the coin. <laughs> <laughs> July 2nd, 91. July 2nd, 91. I'm yeah. November, f- November 5th, 91. Okay, so I'm five, four months older than you. Damn August, it. August, September, October. <laughs> I, had, I had a friend that was literally four days older than me. Really? Four days. I have a friend who has the same birthday as me, just a year older. Oh, really? Yeah, so <laughs> every me. year I look for him and I was like, happy birthday. <laughs> he like, replies back, happy birthday. You. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a back and forth yeah uh so re- what brought you here from peru uh well you know like the american dream kind of thing you of know my, my parents were like yeah you're gonna get a better education there sure y- you know so that's that's why i'm here right on right yeah on. but actually since i want to do like arts and stuff mm-hmm. uh i actually don't go to college right on. me neither yeah i, d- <laughs> I dropped out of college because it turned out to be really expensive that's um, why i left too if i left i mean i never actually went <laughs> <laughs> it turned out to be really expensive and like uh for art art classes like not everything but like art in particular sure um they waste a lot of time reteaching basics and not adding anything to it sure you know? so i just figured out maybe i can just sign up on like lydia.com or one of those websites yeah that's and they what they teach did you so much better you know yeah there's online Lydia. tutorials com. talk about lydia you remember lydia.com yeah, like yeah. They're Linda, 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 that's what I was. Yeah, I yeah. always confuse it. Hey. Uh, <laughs> they're cousins. Linda, yeah. It's close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Linda. Yeah, yeah, like their tutorials are amazing. Yeah, you know? they're thorough. Yeah, and like even some um, like Art Institute and uh, Full Sail, you know, yeah, that's they wh- use them. That's where we were going to go. We, we yeah. got into Full Sail. And I, then I wanted to go to Full Sail. They, yeah. they, we, we got accepted and everything, and then like three days before our start date, they're like, hey, do you have, uh, I don't know, $25,000? We're like, no. $25,000. <laughs> per semester. It was insane. Look, so we're like, we'll just figure it out. So, so this is what I'm doing, right? Yeah. Instead of putting twenty five thousand dollars on something that they might like, right? Right. Invest I can just put it, it on these thing. websites, you know. And the rest of the money, I invest on my own equipment. Absolutely. Because they don't let you keep anything except for like a laptop. No. Right. E- yeah. Even then, you're paying for it. Exactly. You know? So, I build my own rigs, my own PCs. Right on. Right. Um, and they're like extremely powerful. Like I can render anything on them. Dude. You know? Uh, I built my girlfriend her own PC because she's like doing like the same path, you know, we're sure. like very artistic, you know, and um, I'm trying to learn photography. I, bu- I bought my own DSLR, right you on. know, like it takes time to oh. like save the money for you sure know, because Especially. it's coming out of pocket. Oh, yeah. But that plus whatever I'm learning from these websites is a lot cheaper than if I went to. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's great. Cr- no, that's absolutely true, yeah. especially if it's something specifically with the arts. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of it you can figure out. You can you know figure it out yourself. Like, yeah. There's some stuff you cannot do by yourself. You cannot become a doctor without school. Exactly. It's not possible. That's, a, that's what Forget I always it. tell the people. You know? You know? <laughs> art, art stuff, you, you can, can do it. You can. You, you can, can figure it out. You can go and learn it yourself. For sure. But like, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be like... I don't know, surgeon or a lawyer, yeah, stuff like about that. It. You need training. You need to know anatomy. You need yes. to know this. You need to be in the hospital. Like yeah. my girlfriend's a nurse, and she's oh, yeah. nursing school sounds like the worst thing in the world to me. <laughs> yeah, she studies like six hours a day forever for like a year and a half. Yeah. Like I couldn't do it if I tried. Yeah, you know, I go. spam is not that high. <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm not that smart. Yeah, and I don't work anywhere near that hard. <laughs> yeah. So, but no, absolutely, specifically arts, mm-hmm. you can do it. Like with full sale, full sale was. I was going for a bachelor's in wow. film and a master's in entertainment business. Oh, nice! But you end up being a hundred and three grand in debt at the end of it. A hundred and three grand. Hundred and three grand. They start off like at eighty thousand. It depends what you want. It's like yeah, goes it goes up, up from yeah. There. It's like seventy, sixty-nine, seventy thousand for the film degree, and then another thirty grand for the entertainment. Ooh. And I was like, dear God! And a, and a buddy of mine asked him. He goes, all right, well, if you get a film degree, you leave with a movie, right? Like you made a movie. And they're like, no, not really. Not really. You just kind of know how. You make kind of like to. a lot of assignments. Yeah. 
exactly. thing, you know? You have nothing that you can actually use besides, yeah. like, you've used some equipment. When you can make, think about how what you can make with 100 grand. Exactly. You, you can get your you own want. equipment. You can exactly. even set up your own studio if you wanted to. Absolutely. You know? So you, is is magic a long game? Is it a hobby? It's a job. You've done I mean, it, you do it for a living. It was a job for a while, you sure. know? Uh, like it was something it you was want to. Long game. It was like a like a hobby that ended up like making my living for five years, which is awesome. Yes, it was great. Sure, you know, um, but I always wanted to do something like combining arts and uh, and technology. Okay. You know, like graphic designer or like Photoshop and oh, stuff right like on. that. You know, so right now I'm like learning photography so I can do edits, matte paintings and stuff like that. Right. You Smart. know, concept art. Very useful. Yeah, um, but right now I'm putting. Like all my cards are in prop making. All your cards. Yeah. All my cards. Are in prop like, you making. get it. <laughs> you picked up on it. You're a magician. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Yeah. So what uh, what are you working what are you working on now? Any props? Uh, currently. As in the moment, I've delivered what I had. Right on. You know. You're like no, because I finished it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, for Magic City that's coming up, right. I actually have a lot of stuff to get done. Really? We have an Overwatch group that I'm in charge of all the props, weapons, and armor. Oh, dude, that's right? a lot. <laughs> We're going to have a Tracer, right a May, a uh, McCree. Oh, what? Um, Reaper. We're going to have like a lot of people. Like, we almost Are have you the have a Winston? We're not going to have a Winston because I am not making that. <laughs> somebody, was, somebody was like, yo, I'll pay you. What do you want to be? Oh, I want to be Winston. No. You're like, you don't have enough money I for you to be yeah. Winston. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and then like somebody was like, yo, I want you to make me Reinhardt. And I was like, all right, that's going to be a pretty penny. Yeah, I can give you like $300. It's like, that's not going to be. Dude, no. a foam Iron Man suit is 650 Yeah. Starts. Yeah, and that's the Iron Man soon. Yeah. Uh, the, the Iron Man soon. <laughs> yeah, the Iron Man soon. <laughs> yeah. The Iron Man is coming. Yeah. Soon. <laughs> no, but Reinhardt is like 10 feet tall. And I have to build in stilts and oh. all that kind of stuff. And he wanted the hammer too. Oh, forget so, about it. Yeah, forget like, about it. For three hundred, not gonna happen. No way. That's yeah. insane. So that's like projects for like people. Like that's commission. Sure. Right? Okay. Now I have, after like a long time of not having anything personal, right. I'm gonna have a personal project. Uh huh. And that's gonna be. I told you about this. Um, the Samurai Stormtrooper. Yes. You know, from the line from of the figures. figures. Yes. That's gonna be so cool, oh, it's, and you're going for the archer. I'm super excited for it. Yes, I'm going for the archer one. It's so cool. Mostly because I don't like the bad nipples on the other ones. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't need nips on my storm. Yeah, you that's know? awesome. I yes. saw uh, Jordan did the Boba yeah, Fett. Yeah, he did the Boba Fett, and cool I was looking. like, hey, you need a, you need a, a trooper for that. And he's like, yeah, can you make it in seven days? How about for Magic City? And he's like, we can do that too. Yeah, right. <laughs> How about seven weeks? Is that cool? Like a normal person? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know? That's crazy. Yeah. Those are really cool looking figures. Yes. That's nuts. Um, so Overwatch, that's fun. Yeah, that's Overwatch, fun. that was fun. And, um, and probably like some smaller stuff. Sure. You know, like uh, Bucky's arm that somebody wanted me to do, but cool. hasn't been confirmed. Sure. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist, the auto mail, hasn't what? been confirmed either. Yeah. A lot of people like arms. Arms are cool. <laughs> yeah. Robot and arms are cool. Something that I want to try to do, mm -hmm. just to like have there like uh, as a selling piece, not for anybody, sure. is... Uh, Metal Gear Five, the the red one, the red the arm, arm, yeah, yeah. okay, you know that'd be cool. Yeah, because I sank like 200 hours into that game, I loved it. Sure, sure. So Yusuf yeah. is real big. Do you know Yusuf? Yeah, Yusuf. Yeah, I know him. He's super great. big in the yeah, in with the arms. Metal so Gear, like, yeah. I want to try to like make it a foam and cast it so I can do replicates. Oh, you know? smart. So you can either have it like a like a showpiece, like right. one on one showpiece, or you can have it as a as a prop, like a it's like very armor, smart, yeah. very smart. That's really cool. I wish I could work with foam, man. I don't know what <laughs> it is with measurements and cuts. They just don't go right for me. To, to be know? honest, I barely use numbers. Really? I just mostly eyeball things. That is like insane. Like, that all right, that needs to be this. Yep, yeah, that's all right. Dude, that is magic to me. <laughs> ah! It really is. That's insane. Shameless plug. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, magic. If you get nothing else from this, Alejandro is magic. <laughs> That's crazy. He's like, what's Alejandro? He's a magician. Yes, that's right. That's yeah. what I'm putting. Yeah. That's right. I'm putting magician Alejandro. Yeah. Um, so you do commissions. That's I do awesome. commissions. So yeah. That's awesome. Um, have you made armor, like a suit of armor yet? Yes. Uh, I don't know if you saw, I did a black stormtrooper. I don't think so. How you did I miss this? That? I'm pretty sure I showed it to you. You did a black stormtrooper? Yeah, I did a black stormtrooper. It was, I didn't do a helmet or the weapon, but I did all the armor pieces. Really? Um, How did yep. I miss this? I don't know. 
What? You gotta follow me, man. Yeah, it's I know. Like I do. Instagram. I guess it just got <laughs> sifted in there. Yeah, I, I guess. That's crazy. I repost it so you, like, it pops up and yes, you see it. Yes, um, I'm gonna stalk you now. <laughs> I'm gonna sort you out. I think, because you know how Facebook does, like, the highlights yeah, now? I yeah, think that's yeah, right. that's, that's like, super, weird. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I did a Blackstone Trooper, and uh, actually that needs to be repaired because a bird, he has, like, oh. my client had a bird, and it became his chew toy, and he didn't notice. Oh, no. Yeah. That happened to, I bought an Iron Man suit a while back. It was good. I mean, I wore it once. Uh -huh. I, you know, I'll, I'll come clean. I got oh. off a guy named Dark Iron Productions. Uh -huh. He's really good. Okay. And he's gotten better as it goes on. So uh -huh. you're like, oh, man, my suit's not as good as your new one. That's fine. Uh, I paid six fifty for it. Mm -hmm. came with helmet, lights, chest, oh, that's all, everything. And I was like, oh, that's a good can't price. go with that. Yeah, that's a great price. And I, I went to a casino. Uh -huh. I did a Halloween costume contest, and yeah. I won 1000 bucks. Ooh. So I was like, right on, right yeah, on. Made your money back. But after that... I left it in my room. No, I left it in a room at my parents' house for like three days, and they got a couple puppies, and one of them chewed up the oh, bicep. No. I was like, it's weathered. It's weathered. It's not oh. weathered. It's chewed. So I got to like <laughs> sand it. And I covered half of it in, uh, in fiberglass oh, to okay. strengthen it. Yeah. Because the way that they have it is where the shin meets the thigh, uh -huh. it's like this, and then a Chicago screw holds them together. So it's like Oh, okay. Here, so it like right? dangles, yeah. And they, the second I put on, they just went bent because they're Ooh. foam. Yeah. So I took fiberglass and, and like them. yeah. So now I've got fiberglass. I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm gonna sell it. Yeah. But, uh, I'm uh, actually gonna start doing that with like more armor pieces. Yeah, it's smart. Yeah, like put like not it look fiberglass but uh, resin. Yeah, that, I did that it. first. Yeah. I did. I took a like a ring and I just covered it in resin. Did like mm -hmm. four coats and it's. Yeah, rock that's, hard. Like that's really good. Yeah. Have you worked with Warbla before? I worked with Warbla once. Yeah, it's yeah. weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's really you weird. You heat it up, it turns into Play-Doh. Yeah, it's so oh, like, like a fruit roll-up. The only thing I did with it was um, I did Amethyst Whip from okay. uh, Steven Universe. Uh huh. Um, because one of the people in our group cosplays her, and I wanted a diamond to have more, well, durability to it. Sure. I didn't want to remake it. Sure. You know. That so makes I, sense. Uh, I got a friend that had some Warbla. I got some off of him. You know. Right it's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah. It is. Like you heat it up, it takes more. It takes like a second, yeah. and then it's a fruit roll up. Yeah. It's it's everywhere. Yeah. You can just mold it up however you want it. It's I so sanded it down so you had like a, like a little bit smoother. Oh, smart. Yeah, because yeah, it was not the black warble. Like it was the like, yeah, the regular they're like one. beigey, yeah, cardboard colored. Yeah, one. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, but I, I actually want to try to work with it a little bit more. You know, right on. it's yeah. cool. It's expensive. It is expensive. God, it's so expensive. It is expensive. But at the end of it, I mean, I've seen stuff that looks oh yeah, definitely out of warble, but. Like you have to use it smartly, you know. Like you, you can make everything out of warbler, but you don't have to. You can make some stuff out of foam, you know. Then sure. like cover this this specific piece and it's more enforcement out of warbler, you know. So like sure. Once the, once the paint job is done, nobody's gonna notice. For sure, for sure. I know uh, Jordan uses warbler quite a bit. Yeah. Jordan, he he did um, the dragoon armor. Oh yes, that's, that's all, warbler. I've seen that. It's like all that's warbler. That's full warbler. It's it's craft foam with warbler over oh, it. Yeah. That's yeah, because you can't you can't just do warbler. Yeah, I've learned these things. Yeah. <laughs> you get a base of craft foam and then you cover it in warbler. Yeah, because it yeah. doesn't it doesn't hold shape. No, it forget about it. Under it. Yeah. Which is crazy. Do you have uh do you have like a dream costume you want to make dream one day? Dream costume. Like if I had the skills and talent and money right now, I would make this. Ooh, actually a few. One of the things that I'm most scared of making is an Iron Man suit. Oh, you want to make an Iron Man I suit? I want to make an Iron Man suit, right but on. I feel like that's like super technical because it needs to be like robotic. Yeah, guys. So I have to be of. really careful of angles and whatever, you know. So that's one. Okay. Uh, besides like super huge builds, you know, like Gundams or like Reinhardt or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like I'll, I'll do a Gundam. <laughs> one of my, one of the costumes that I've been putting off because I want to get good first is Monster Hunter. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you know the franchise, but I'm a oh, huge yes. fan of Monster Hunter. And... Brachidios is my favorite monster. Oh, right on. You know, so I want to do the G armor, like, That'd you know, like cool. the highest armor. Yeah. You know? And, like, in uh, Monster Hunter 4, like, they remade the, the G ranks, okay. you know? So they look cooler. And I think in a new game, they even, like, made more. So I have to play that one. I haven't gotten it yet. Sure. Uh, but, yeah, I usually like that. You know, I, like, I get the new one. It's like, oh, I'm going to make this one. And right. then I put it off, new one comes out, it's like, oh, this one looks cooler, and it keeps going, you know? Sure. So eventually you're going to make Monster Hunter armor, and it's going to be, like, my dream. You Dude, know? that'd yes. be awesome. I My my dream costume, I mean, I've got a couple. Mm -hmm. Like, a clone was one, and that's done. Oh, yeah. I started my oh, Stormtrooper that, this week. That's looking amazing, by the Wait, way. Wait, I'm, I'm putting it on after this. Oh, you are? I'm, I'm trooping, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous, because I haven't worn it for more than five minutes at a time. Oh, so I I'm see. Like, oh, God. <laughs> 
Uh, but a dream of mine is, you watch Game of Thrones, right? Of course. Yeah. I want to do a Kingsguard armor. Oh. It's like a dream. I would love to do a Kingsguard armor. Mm. It's so cool. You know, I could make that happen. Yeah? Dude, yeah. I might seriously call you up. Yeah, definitely. Because I'm, that's, a, that's, I mean, the cloak, the sweet looking. Uh, yeah, so I, cool. I could probably make that happen. I would have to like relook at it, look in, like, into the details of it. But I could probably help you out with that. Let me know. Yeah. Especially, and even so, uh, you're caught up? Uh, not all the way. Like, I'm like in season three. All right, I, all right, season three. Okay, well, there's more Kingsguard in the la in the latest season, which uh -huh. I'll tell you. It's a different Kingsguard. Yeah. And they've got a simpler armor, mm -hmm. and it looks really cool, and I like that. That one better? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. I love them both. You know, it's like you, it's like, you <laughs> it's like choosing between child. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's like I've loved one for like five years, and now the new one's here, and it's like, oh, I still love that one, but this new one's really cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's no. exactly what's happening to me with Monster Hunter. Yeah, exactly. It's like, exactly. I love that one, but this one looks so much cooler. Uh, for real. For <laughs> real. You're like, I don't know. I've loved this one for yeah. a long time, and I feel bad abandoning yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So I would I would love to do a Kingsguard. Oh. I'd wear it all the time. Oof. I'd wear it all the time. Oh, I, I could help you out. Right? Yeah. Dude, I would call make you. it look nice. Right? That would be amazing. Because it's not, it doesn't seem to be... I mean, for me, it's impossible. But mm -hmm. well, not impossible, just incredibly difficult. But it doesn't seem to be that technically hard, you know, breastplate, backplate, yeah. gauntlets. But it's not like clone armor. Yeah. This clone kit is—I've put more work into this costume than I put into anything in my entire life. And it looks amazing. It's insane. You know, I've—I put—I started working on it in January, like hardcore, seven hours a week. Just finished it like three weeks ago. Oh, it looks beautiful, yes. bro. Like, I actually, when I saw you like doing your own. I was like, oh, I need to make mine, and it never happened. Right. And now I like, I like the samurai one, so I'm like, that's gonna be, right? that's, that's gonna go. be it. That's gonna be it. I've got, I've got a clone. It's approved in the 501st, so thank God. I started my stormtrooper, and I'm doing like straight episode four, New Hope, shiny white TK. So I'm that excited is. to do that, um, just for insurance. You can't go wrong with stormtrooper. Yeah, of know? course. <laughs> and then you're like the coolest stormtrooper with the bow yeah. and arrow. That design is so cool. Oh, I love Have that. you seen the Vader samurai one? Yes. Insane. Yeah, like Insane. I wanted to Boba Fett because he's like one of my favorite characters. Sure. You know? But he already claimed it, you know, he already called it. Right. So I was like, all right, the he's, best second. He's got stormtrooper. the big old bucket head. Yeah. <laughs> I like the I like the Vader one a lot. How they did it with the flaps and yeah. That's another thing I've noticed. The first time I ever noticed the design of samurai armor and the fact that it's basically panels. Just yeah, like it is panels, together. so it's so, it's relatively easy. You yeah, know? I um, I learned that when I saw Jay Stryker. You know Jonathan Stryker? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did a Naruto one, and I was like, this just mats like tied together, but it looks so good. And it's crazy. Yeah, it's just like you gotta like make sure like you sand it nicely, yeah. you know, a little bit of weathering, not too much. Yeah. It's like you said, you know, you break things down into shapes. Exactly. And then you build up on top yeah, exactly, of that. Exactly. Yeah. What is the hardest thing you've made thus far? The like hardest the most thing I've made. You're like, this sucks, but it turned far. out all right. Um, actually, I have a hard time making weapons. Really? Yeah, weapons are impossible for me. Like they're they're not impossible. They're just extremely difficult. Sure. You know, because for example, uh, for this weekend too, I had to make uh, Uranus sword from okay. uh, Sailor Moon Crystal. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the hilt looks really good. You know, it's all going good because the hilt is like a more uh, organic shape per sure. se. Sure. Right. It was the blade that I messed up with. Oh, no. Because it has to be symmetrical. It had to be, like, perfect. And it was rushed because they were like, you got a week and you do this. Oh. And I was working on the, on the Saiyan armors, too. So I was like, I can try. Oh, yeah. It's going to be know? a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I did it. They loved it. Right on. Yeah. Like, they're like, with the time you had, I think this is fantastic. So they loved it. And they got it signed, too. Oh, so right I was on. like, oh, I was willing to give you another one. Right. <laughs> but now I, I'm sure you guys don't want to take care of it. <laughs> like, it's like one of those things where, like, because you made it, yeah. you're like, oh, no, it's just there's so many things wrong. But yeah, nobody like, else I, sees I it. I could have made it so much better if you was going to get a sign. That's know? how I feel about my clone. Oh, no, like, bro. my clone, I would say my clone looks really good. I'm very proud of it. But I know all the inner workings. I was like, oh, oh that's so you know, right. like, oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're a pick of yourself. Yeah, yeah. I was like, you can't see it, but the inside of that back panel looks rough. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know Stuff what you're like saying. I know what I know what you're saying. So yeah. swords, swords, yeah, and weapons. Sword, swords and weapons are like something around. I had around. the worst time ever making Oberyn's spear. Spear? Yeah, you know the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you sorry. haven't got to Oberyn yet in Game of Thrones. No, no, yeah, yeah. Have you? The I, I've character? seen the character. Like I know who okay, he is. Yeah. I haven't gotten to him, but I know the character. Okay, so. yeah. Uh, the I have a character. I did a cosplay of a guy in a yellow robe. He had a yeah. huge like. Yeah, seven yeah, foot I spear. remember. That spear was awful to make. Why? Awful. What I took, made it of. It's made of wood. The whole thing's wood. The I whole thing. Uh, well, the wood and then the snakes are made of foam and then bondo. Oh. So what I did for the for the 
the shaft, you know, you have a giant pole. Yeah. And then I cut a slit in the middle and then took a board and shoved it in there and then sanded that down into a blade and then cut it and sanded it oh. and then filled it with putty and then made it not look like wood. Yeah. But it was... Like, uh, if you if you want to see um, a good tutorial on a weapon, because I, I usually work with foam, so I don't... I, this is not very useful to me. Right. But... Um, Adam Savage from the Mythbusters. Yes. Yeah, he's the he's channel incredible. tested, right? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, he's um, his tutorial. Well, not tutorial, but like kind of work through the Hellboy sword that he did. Oh, what? I didn't see that. You didn't see that? No. Yeah, he did a Hellboy sword from the comics, and the way he what? did it is beautiful. Really? Like it looks like a thousand-year-old sword. It what? was. It was relatively simple to make, you know. Sure. You know, so I think you could get a. Yeah, that's insane. Because that was one thing that, that yeah. I had to learn, you know, because you get wood. Wood has grain. Yeah. And then you paint it. You're like, wait, it just looks like painted wood. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. How do I make this look like metal? Yeah. So he is, yeah, he is Bondo, you know, so like I think to, to make it look shiny, he used aluminum tape. He that is a, a great idea. Yeah. He used aluminum tape and then he grabbed black spray paint, like matte black, uh -huh. and just sprayed it like just put spots all over the, the sword and I was like what are you doing right. you know he's like watch this grab a sand uh, sandpaper he just sanded it down and he's like the paint stays in all the little like crevices and stuff like yeah. that and it looks amazing what yeah that's crazy I gave this tip to my friend and he did um, Assassin's Creed blade with it and it looks beautiful that's crazy mm -hmm. I did um, I used the clone trooper uses a ton of bondo I bet. John Abondo. I it's, bet. I've worked on my, my TK, my Stormtrooper. Yeah. I did more on my TK in three hours than I did in two weeks on my clone. Because <laughs> the plastic for a clone is ABS, but it's so thick, you have to, like, grind it, sand it down on a belt yeah. sander. And you have to build the pieces. So you take, like, your two halves of the forearm, put them together, put a shim on the inside, and then oh. cover that with Bondo, and then sand it down to make it look like one piece. Oh, it's so I'm not joking. Nine months of work, man. <laughs> Damn. Okay. But, now I see where those nine months went. But man. then Stormtrooper, you don't have to worry about seamless. You don't use any bondo at all. It's mm -hmm. just cover strips. Yeah. So you get the two pieces. They fit together. Cover strip. You're good. Yeah. That's so it. So I'm, I'm thinking it took me nine months to do a clone trooper. I'm expecting seven weeks and I'll be uh, done with the Stormtrooper. Mm. It's that big oh, of a difference. Great. Yeah. You're going to be here. Uh, right. For magic, right? I'll be there on Sunday. Sunday only? Yeah. All right, then I'll make sure I wear the Stormtrooper Sunday. Do it. Yeah. I'll be there. I'm bringing my clone, so. All right, perfect. I'll be. I'm, I'm gonna be my clone for a while, because <laughs> they have this thing now where the 501st, you know, they do a lot of patches and mm -hmm. coins, and it's very communal. Yeah. Which you need to get in there. It's awesome. Oh, uh, if uh, I only if I had something approved. <laughs> right. Eh, there's easier ways. I can tell you. All right, all right. I'll give you a costume that's actually not expensive either, and you can get in. Oh really? Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Uh, so they have a thing called a CSR, which mm -hmm. is a clone service record, where right. you basically get points for trooping as a clone, and then you can earn patches in oh, the Legion. Nice. So I was like, I'm going to earn all the patches. <laughs> I want all of them. So, You're going to be the highest clone. Yeah, right? I mean, there are guys that have been hundreds of points. It's insane. Damn. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's going to be it's going to be nuts. I'm awesome. really excited about it. Oh, that's going to be great. So you're going to be at Magic City. I'm going to be at Magic City. There's going to be a celebration. Uh, at celebration? Next year? I, I don't know. It's far away. It's um, in April. I could probably do it. Yeah? Like, I can plan it out. Maybe I can make it. Yeah. Have you been to a celebration before? Never. You like Star Wars? Uh, yeah, I, lo I it's love Star Wars. the best yeah. ever. It's, imagine a con the size of Megacon. Four days, all Star Wars. <laughs> It sounds like a dream. It, it is. It is. It's better than a dream because it's real. It's amazing. <laughs> so yeah. actually, you like Star Wars. You're a big I, fan. Yeah. You're a big fan. Who's your favorite Star Wars character? Uh, Boba Fett? Well, my favorite Star Wars character, yeah. Like from the prequels, Boba Fett. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I actually like Rey a lot. Rey is great. <laughs> Rey is Such a great, great character. Yes. So like she's a close second right now. Yeah? Yeah. And... Um, and when I was a kid and the, like, the, the, the uh, sequels came out, yeah. you know, I was like, oh, these movies are great. And that's what got me like, into the prequels and everything else. Same. But I rewatched them recently. Yeah? And they've aged, bro. Yeah? Yeah. Like, the originals like, they, or the prequels? No, 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 no. no. The, um, the episodes one, two, and three. Okay, right. Uh, especially one and two. Yeah? Three, it still looks decent. Three's good. Yeah. Two was like... Two was like an experimental film. You yeah. know, did you know that episode two was actually the first movie ever shot completely digital? Really? Ever. Yep. Oh, wow. 
George Lucas was like really big into adopting technology. Uh -huh. Like he believed that we have a duty as humans to adopt a technology and make it better for future generations. So get on it quick and make it better. So episode two, episode one was actually the first movie ever shown digitally in a theater. Mm -hmm. And two, he shot completely digitally so to like, make yeah. the technology better for people. Ah, interesting. Right? That's why two looks like that. It looks yeah. CG because yeah. it was the newest technology at the time. Yeah, and like it was the best that, at the time. Exactly. Yeah. And because of that, we have the CGI now. Yeah. Because he got it started. You know? Yeah, and he like, they perfected it and everything. For sure. Like, there's actually a great... I, I always reference to videos. Yeah, Because yeah. people can find them and like, they're like... It's smart. Good. Very you smart. Know? Yeah, like that is, thing I talked about. Yeah. Link. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For sure. So, um, there is a video actually by Rocket Jump Film School. You know, this... Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. With uh, Freddie Wong. Yeah, with Freddie Wong. I'm, exactly. I'm friends with his brother, Jimmy. Are you serious? Yeah, Jimmy. Oh my god, I'm such a big fan, bro. I've Isn't been following them since like forever. I, I I met Jimmy at Playlist Live a bunch of years ago, and we hit it off really well before he hit it big with that Ching Chong song. Oh. So man. I remember the night he was writing that song, and then he blew up, you know, because that. Oh wow, song. that's freaking great. Yeah. Right. So like they have a video about like how they explain how CGI works and why it doesn't suck, even though yeah. people are like, oh, CGI is terrible. And he's like, no, you know? it's actually awesome. It's, I did it's see actually that video great. Yeah. where he breaks I, it I down like Mad when, Max. Yeah, when he's like, you don't see, you don't see um, good CG because it's that good. You only see the bad ones. It's true. It's true. Yeah. That's like a Rogue One. Yeah. You know, you've seen the trailer. Yeah, I've right? seen the trailer. Ooh. That Star Destroyer, completely CGI. Really? Not a model, yeah. They took pictures of the original model. It's all CD. I blew your mind with the coin earlier. Right? It just blew my mind right Think about now. that. Yeah. And that's, that's another thing. Like, I mean, obviously, I'm a pretty diehard Star Wars fan. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've, I, I love all of them, and I've dissected them, and I know a lot about the making. Yeah. And a lot of people who are complaining that, you know, it's not CG, it's practical, and all these things. Mm -hmm. uh, there were actually more miniatures made for episode one than all of the original movies combined. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know a lot that. Of people, a lot of people I, don't. Yeah, hey, hey, I didn't know that. It's pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah. Because miniatures, great. you know, real practical ships they're shooting and stuff. Mm -hmm. The pod racing scene, that's a set. That's a practical model that they built, the whole angle. Really? Yeah. Hey, I'm learning a lot today. Right? Yeah. Right? That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. great. You excited for Rogue One? Hell yes. I oh. Beside myself. Actually, you know what? Um, uh, Force Awakening got yes. my girlfriend into Star Wars. Right on. Yeah, because like I was like, oh, we're gonna watch it day one. Like we we had in, we had costumes sure. and like I had the lightsaber. Right you know, on. like we had everything. But she's like, I never seen Star Wars. Oh no. And and I was like, I've been with you for how long? Five right. years. You, you're, you need you're, to, you need to leave and then come yeah. back. <laughs> yeah, like you're giving me this information now. Right. We could have fixed this long ago. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, <laughs> a long time ago. Exactly. <laughs> um, so I kind of show her the first one. Right. You know, and she's like, I mean, I don't see the hype. You know, sure. it's like whatever. So I was like, fine. You know what? It's a new story. So let's go watch it, and then we come back, you know, oh, and then we go back okay. from them, you know. And she loved it. Now she's like, she's a pretty big fan too. Right you know, on. She's getting into it. She's learning. Sure. You know? So that's nice bringing somebody into something that you oh, love. Oh yeah. You know? I'm all about it. Yeah. I convert people all the time. I yeah. I have I'm like a prequel converter, because a lot of people we we talk about it all the time where. It's like the cool thing to hate on the prequels now. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, I love Star Wars. Oh, me too, but not those prequels. It's yeah. Like, Shut your mouth. They're awesome. <laughs> and it's like they're, it's not they're awesome. Like they're bad or something. Like, it's like I said, like they aged a little bit. For sure. You know? No, like, the technology definitely did. Yeah, for the sure. technology has definitely aged, and like some storytelling, you know, it's that, like uh, it, that goes back to uh, uh, like episode two with CGI, right? Yeah. Did you know there was never a physical set of clone trooper armor? Oh yeah, I actually, I actually did know that. So building it, one. <laughs> Yes. Was awful. That's another <laughs> reason why it was so bad because it doesn't exist. And they're like, make it look CG, but not. Make the CG thing real. Good yeah. luck. The yeah, seamless was terrible. But no, I. Yeah, I, I, I did see that because I, ha I saw some like um, shots behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just a guy with stripes on him. And yep. he was like, what? Can you imagine? Can you imagine how cool it would be to be an actor in that setting and be like, it's just green everywhere. I don't know. And then yeah. you watch the movie and you're like, that's crazy. He's like, that's me. I know. <laughs> I didn't know I was looking at that. I would have reacted differently. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's nuts. But no, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I, I watched the originals first mm -hmm. and I loved them so much. And then when episode one came out, I loved it because it was like backstory to stuff yes. I already love. Yeah, of and course. And that's, that's why I love the prequel so much because I'm like, here's the thing I, I adore. 
and this is all the stuff that came before it. And I'm like, oh, sweet. Like, angles can be weird. Acting can be not great, but it doesn't, for me, it did, never took anything away. Yeah. So I was like, all right. Like, like, like I, for example, like, I'm, I'm learning a little bit about, like, filmmaking and videos because I want to do, like, some YouTube stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And uh, I'm kind of, like, learning how to, like, break down scenes and, like, kind of sure. find flaws and things like that. Sure. But like that fight scene with Darth Maul in like episode one Whoa. has like Dude, has, Qui -Gon's like, my favorite spot. character. And all it's all of Star Wars, Qui Gon is my favorite character. It's the one movie that Liam Neeson died in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Dude. He shows up in Clone Wars, so that's good. Oh he, he comes back as a force ghost, yeah. Oh. He Actually, was the I, I, first I, Jedi who figured out how to come back. It, he taught Yoda. I mean yeah, they like they talk about it there, yeah. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah, like I actually haven't caught up with that. Because it's uh, it's rough. Yeah. <laughs> At the beginning, we actually. Uh, all right, you know what? I'll just spoil it. I don't even care. Uh, <laughs> we're launching a new podcast. Oh, awesome! Very soon. It's called Brian and David Talk Star Wars. Awesome. This is an exclusive I've never talked about before. Oh, oh! So, I feel so special. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, spoil it. people. Listen, I have another one coming, and uh, he's never seen any of the Clone Wars. Oh. But I have. So what we're doing is we've read all the books that are canon. Uh -huh. We've done all these things. So we're going back and watching all the Clone Wars and then doing an episode on each one and talking about it. Be like, oh, oh that's like great. This, and yeah, giving yeah. backstory into it from what we've read in the books. Oh, so like so. from the actual like canon yeah. story and whatever. Yeah, so because we watched, like, we it became kind of a mess. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We watched yeah. the movie last week, the Clone Wars movie that kicked it all off. Oh, nice. And we talked about, oh, we like this because they mentioned this and we read a book in this. Yeah. And, like, we get real deep. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm excited for that. I'm yeah, you should. It. It'll be on the same channel. Oh, SoundCloud.com slash Jedi Brian, whichever you're listening to this. You probably already know that. Yeah. But now you'll know Yeah, that. I, I know. I, I always, like, click the links. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right on. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's uh, it's fun. But, yeah, Star Wars is pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm so excited for Rogue One. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. I kind of I kind of want to figure it out if I can make the, the, the tall. <laughs> yeah? yeah the, the, I kind of want to try to do K2. I, I, I kind of want to try to figure him out. I think you should. <laughs> oh, because that, I want to see it. Yeah. If anything... I think it would be like more of a puppeteer kind of thing, more than a costume. Sure, you know? that makes sense. Have you like behind it in all black? Exactly, yeah. and just like that'd be pretty know? cool. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like, yeah, you know what? I, oh, oh, wait. This is going back to the question like yeah. dream costumes. Yes, but it's also Star Wars related. That I just remember. Those are my favorite um, things. Uh, dude, the Drobo dude. I forgot his name. Like I'm like, K2? I'm like half asleep. No, three PO. No, four arms. For, Grievous. Grievous. You know, that's the voice of Grievous. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, yeah, Matthew Wood. Yeah, I, I got great. him lunch. No. Uh, right on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was great. Um, yes. Grievous would be insane. Have you seen, you know, Jinyo? Um? Jinyo from uh, Heroes of Cosplay? Did you watch no. Heroes of Cosplay? Yeah, I watched Heroes of Cosplay. There's yeah, the yeah. girl, uh, Scruffy Rebel is her name. I think so. Okay. I like I'm season one or season two? Because I didn't see season two. Season three. one. All right. The one with Chloe Dykstra and Holly Connor. Okay, 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 okay. You remember the couple that got engaged at a con? Yeah. It's the Asian guy and then the mm -hmm. girl. The Asian guy's name's Jinyo. He has a General Grievous. And he's in the cape. Yeah, I saw that. It's so and I, cool. And I wanted to do that. You should. Like, yes, I, I want to do that so I can just walk around and be right? like, oh, creepy. Because you've like, got him, and then you can see through the cape, but yeah. you've got the head up here. It's yeah. all proportionate, and you're in the cape. Yeah. That's insane to that hide in the so, cape. That is so smart. Like, right? I don't know how like nobody ever like figured that out. For real. For real. No. I'd love to do uh, another dream one that I'll probably never be able to afford because it's so expensive. <laughs> uh, I want to do 3 3PO. 3PO. You want to make You want to make a 3PO. There's kits. There's kits that you can get. To make your yeah, to yeah. make your own tribute. Yeah, I think I could do How it. How much are those? It's a uh, three to five grand. <laughs> Money well spent. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I said. At the end, of your that's the thing with the five hundred first is some of the costumes they're really expensive builds. Yeah, but they have to be movie quality. You know yes. what I mean? So it's not like you're some rinky dink stormtrooper. No, no, no. You walked mm. up the screen and you're a stormtrooper now. Yes. It costs you eleven hundred dollars, but dude, yeah. you're a stormtrooper. What do you think of Anobos? I have the Anobos TK. That's yeah, what I'm building, the Stormtrooper kit. Oh, so that's where you got him. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, I got it when they did the super sale at Celebration last year. It yeah, was like 350 I, I missed that. I was like, dude. I was talking to my girlfriend. It's like, come on, it's only 350 It's like, it's, no, but we're like. I jumped on it. I, you know what sold it for me? Mm. Completed helmet. Oh, so you, had, you didn't helmet's have to worry done. about it. That was done. Yeah. Uh, 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 that's what I was telling her. Like, look, yeah. the helmet itself is 250 Dude. $100 more, and you get the full exactly. armor. Exactly. That's something. That was what it was. That was literally the selling point. I was like, yeah. a Stormtrooper helmet is 250 You're going to tell me I get all of it? Undersuit, neck seal, literally the only thing you're missing is the boots. 
Like that's yeah. it. It comes with everything. It comes yeah, with the holster, the, boost, the like, belt. Super cheap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Yeah. Exactly. Oh so my God. I jumped on it, man. Oh, I should have. I should have. It's been sitting for a while because I've been working on my clone. Yeah. But I started it. So now I've uh, I built the f I built half the forearms. Mm -hmm. They're done already. Oh, nice. Then I gotta finish them up. Well, not they're not done. Half it is done. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the biceps, and it's all. It's easier than a clone, so I'm already really liking it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and I feel like it's going to be way more comfortable than a clone as well. You know you know what I'm really looking forward to? I'm sorry I got you off. No, 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 absolutely. That was um, the Black Series Voice Changer Stormtrooper Helmet. Dude, have you heard it? No, I haven't heard it. Oh, man, they released a video of it. You sound like the TK. Yeah? I don't know how they did it. I have no clue. Because the I'm kind of like, eh, with the Voice Changer because I have the Black Series Kylo Ren. Oh, uh, okay. That's, I've heard that, that one's... Okay. That one's okay at best. Yeah. You know, like if you like think over there a little bit. There uh, are people who make kits for that helmet that sound just like Kylo Ren. Oh, really? I've you seen gotta, those. You got to send me the link. Yeah, man. I'll yeah. find it. There's a yeah. woman who's in the 501st who made one, and it sounds, she's a woman, sounds exactly like Kylo Ren. I need it's this beautiful. in my life. I know, right? Because I love to cosplay Kylo Ren. I like. Um, Your Kylo is awesome. Oh, oh, thank I've you. Seen pictures. I've seen pictures of that. You've seen a picture of that one, yeah. <laughs> you, you saw, like, I actually did the, the belt and everything, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because. Uh, when we went to the movies, we just got the cheapo costume, sure. you know, and it came with like a fabric belt, and I was like, I'm not wearing that. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> how, how long till the movie? Like two hours? I'm making a belt right now. Got the what? reference pictures, drew it out by hand. I didn't print it out. I had to like throw it out by hand. Dude. You know, cut it out, make it. It was beautiful. That's amazing. And that's the one detail that I think nobody ever notices. Right? <laughs> it's got a sweet buckle. It's got a yeah. weird Covertech. Yeah, I didn't put the weird cone thing because I was like, oh, we're like half an hour left. Right. You're like, I'll, I'll, just, like I'll just hold it. I don't need yeah, yeah, like, lightsaber. Yeah. His, his lightsaber is pretty cool. Yeah, he is. I dig it. I the weird the red button on the back is strange. Yeah. It's like a... That's weird. But yeah, it's I, awesome. Yeah. I dig you know it. what? I had a funny story about that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm like, I'm a big collector. You know? Same. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're, like, we're like, uh, we're, we're in the same spirits. wavelength. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, I'm a big collector, so I was looking for Amiibos, uh, like a Target, you know? Sure. And, um, and I had realized, like, uh, like, the day before, the lightsabers sold out everywhere. You couldn't find them. The Kylo Ren, right? The okay. Kylo Ren lightsaber. The you FX couldn't one. find them. Yes, the yeah. FX. Right? So, I'm like, oh, man, they don't have the Amiibos here. You know what? I'm just gonna go buy this Star Wars, this Star Wars section, and see if I can find something for like cosplay or like you know, like to repurpose or whatever, right. you know. And sitting right there, the FX lightsaber. What? Bro, like they were selling <laughs> it like at, like at 800 on eBay already. Yeah, and oh, I was for like, sure. Oh man, oh man, oh, oh <laughs> <It's> my god. <here. laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be. Yes, and it's like. It's like, my girlfriend comes back home and it's like, oh, do you get the Amiibos? No. No, I got like 10 Amiibos I worth, but I got a lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I just started collecting the Disney Infinity Star Wars figures. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I don't even have the game. Yeah, like, I, I like want to start doing that too because they look so cool. They are. I, yeah. I have all but one. Oh, really? I have all Which but one. Which one amazing? Ahsoka. Oh. She only comes in the box set with the game and with Anakin. And I already have, I have the, they did five special edition figures. Mm -hmm. That if you put them on the base, their lightsaber lights, lights up, up. Yeah. And I have all five. Oh, nice. So I have doubles. So I've got like Luke that I had to buy in a pack because it was Luke and Leia and I needed Leia. Yeah. But I have the special edition Luke. So I have an extra Luke. I have an, I'll have an extra Anakin because I'm in a cave. I need Ahsoka. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, I was hoping someone would have them here. Like, you know, oh, I bought them trying to sell them because they canceled the game. Yeah, I know. That anymore. sucks. That really sucks. So I'm a big I'm excited game. to yeah, wait I'm, till I'm big into games too. So like I, I'm excited because the game is like 60 bucks. Now it's like 30. I was like, yeah. oh, wait a couple but, more weeks. But all the servers 20. are going to close soon. Like, they, they have like a year left on servers. Does That's that, it. wait, like it won't play anymore after that? Yeah, like the servers what? will be closed. Like, you can only do single player. No way. And if, I, I don't know if the game has, sorry, I don't know if the game has like a DRM. Right. You know? But okay. if it does, then that means that's it. That's ridiculous. I know, right? I don't like that. I don't like that either. I hate DRM. What? Well, at least I'll have cool figures, I guess. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> you, get, you get something out of it. Yeah, exactly. As long as they might light up. Yeah. yeah like, oh, that's lame. I didn't know that. Yeah. What? Servers have like a year left. I think they were just trying to ride the Amiibo hype. I think so too. You know? I the the thing is that you cannot compete with Nintendo and certain things. No. You know? No, like I seen not. people are like, oh, we should do like a Harry Potter go. Right. You know? Yeah, no. Don't and do it's that. like, that's not going to work. No way. Or what team are you? Yeah. What team are you? Fuck, you are. <laughs> you're yes. I'll go first this time. All right. I'm Mystic. All right. You're Mystic. I'm Mystic. Hey! Woo! Yeah, awesome. Team Mystic. Awesome, Instinct man. is all right. Oh, Valor. you're going to love this. Valor, you're going to love this. Get. Watch. Are you about to do magic? 
Oh my god, he has a Pokemon Go Plus. This is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. Is that okay? All right, go. Hopefully. Okay. I have so many questions about this. Oh, I got all the answers. Yes. Okay, so it blinks when you go near Pokestops. Yes. When Pokemon pop up. Yes. When new Pokemon pop up. Yes. Does it count your kilometers It uh, without having your phone on? Oh, yeah. I can have it locked. Really? I can even run Facebook, and it'll tell me, oh, you're near a Pokestop. And I'm like, all right, press the button, collect the items, and it tells me, oh, you collected five items or three items or whatever. It's just that it's not linked to anything else, right? No. Because like, I've seen some people have it linked to, like, their Apple Watch and stuff. No, the Apple Watch is a different story because they have, like, a... Oh, they got, like, an app for it. Yeah, right? they got okay. an app for it for the Apple so Watch. So this... So you're logging kilometers. Just walking. Yes. So you're hatching eggs without having to have your phone and waste yes, battery. That's exactly. amazing. The only thing is that it does use your GPS, but GPS signal is, like, barely anything. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, I've been, like, tracking, like, how much I'm using because I had this on the entire weekend. Sure. You know? And it's not that bad. I Th thought it was going to be a lot worse. Does it let you know when you've hatched an egg? Uh, no. You have, to, you have that, to check Yeah, it. that's the only thing that doesn't let me know. Um, that's cra that's really cool. There's one thing that I didn't know that I wish I knew. Yeah. When you find a Pokemon that you haven't seen before, right? Um, it flashes a different color. Okay. Right? So if you've seen a Pokemon before, like if you've seen, like, let's say, PG. Yeah. Right? You, you, we've it all seen PGs. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, it flashes green. Okay. Right? But if it's a Pokemon unknown to you, like you've never seen, it will flash yellow to indicate that you should probably take out your phone and look at it. Uh, you know? Okay. I didn't know this. So oh I just no. pressed the button and it like it, it uses regular Pokeballs, right? Oh, so you have a higher rate of them like getting yeah. away. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Right? So I didn't know this. I was like, oh I got away, whatever. I checked the log and it was a one thousand two hundred big bell. Oh no. I was so angry. Dude. So okay. It blinks yellow. Does that mean, like, you turn your phone on, it pops up? It pops up. Okay, so it's, like, right up on yes, you. Yes, it's right on you. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. It's really good. I don't know if he has a pedometer. I heard some people saying that he does. Okay. You know, so it counts steps better. Yeah. Uh, hey, as, long as, as long as it's got tracking, because yeah. that's the thing that kills battery. You know, you want credit for the eggs and whatnot. Yeah, like, uh, and now with the buddy system, you want that candy. Exactly. Like, but I have a Pikachu on me, right? Oh, right yeah. on. You got your buddy? I got my buddy, right? My buddy's and a Squirtle. I like, like, for example... What's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon? Yep. For, for first gen? All of it. If you have an all-time, if not uh, first gen. Yeah, all right. My all-time, um, actually, that's a great, like, crazy-ass question because it's like, there's like 700 now. Yeah, there's a lot now. Yeah. I know 250. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I really like Green Ninja. Which one? Like Green Ninja. Green Ninja? Green Ninja. He's from the X and Y okay. generation. What's he look like? Uh, he's the Frog Ninja. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. He's I did in not Smash Brothers. That. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, 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 I got it. And got I used it. to play him a lot, so, like, that's kind of how I like him, right? So. 22, respect. Uh, He's yeah, level 22. He's level 22. I got me Pikachu, and I got the Easter egg. That oh, if you work, that's so yeah, cool. If you, work, if you walk uh, 10 kilometers with a Pikachu with you as your buddy, he will jump on your shoulder. That is amazing. Yeah, it's what? great. Yeah. I've got a Squirtle. Squirtle's my favorite Pokemon of all time. Oh, really? That's yeah. your favorite starter? Oh, yeah. I actually picked uh, Charmander. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I'm, dude, I'm Squirtle all day. Like, I have, I have two. One, I'm going to evolve the Blastoise. One, I'm keeping a Squirtle. Oh. I love Squirtle. Yeah, so, like, you pretty much just, like, click there. Oh, what? Click here, and that's paired. That is so cool. And it vibrates, too. Yeah, it vibrates. So, it vibrates, and it rings as well. Yes. And you click the button to throw a Pokeball. Exactly. This doesn't really do anything. This is just a look. Okay. That's yeah. a really cool look. Yeah, it is a really cool look, yeah. Dude. The only thing is that these are really scarce. You know, yeah. so I had to pick it up before I came to the convention on Friday. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have gotten one. Dude, yeah. that's crazy. Uh, luckily, I live in Naples, so there's not a whole lot going on there. Maybe I'll track so one you're, down. Yeah, you're good. But you go say it's definitely worth it. Yeah, go to GameStop. It's definitely worth it. This turned into like a giant plug for Pokemon Go Plus. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I'm the like, man. No shame in my game. <laughs> give us money. <laughs> yeah, really. Please. If, if you please. could send some our way. <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind. I don't have one yet, so <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. Would you believe we've been talking for over an hour already? Really? Right? Wow. It goes by so fast. Yeah, it does. So on that note, where mm -hmm. can people find you online? I am uneven pictures, like a tilted picture. Uneven pictures. Uneven pictures. Plural, um, with yeah, an S. Pictures. Okay. I'm there. Um, I do Twitch. I do Instagram. I'm pretty actually pretty big in Instagram. Same. Um, I love Instagram. Uh, I got my Facebook page. I got my YouTube channel. Uh, that is actually, the link to it is uneven pictures second because okay. the first one was taken. Been there. You know. A um, Jedi Brian two on some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, but. You can find me there as well. Uneven pictures. Uneven everywhere. pictures. Everywhere. Smart. Good yes. SEO. Yes. Even, I got even the um, 
the URL. I have it reserved. Dude, smart. Yeah. I bought I bought uh, JediBryant.com forever ago yeah. just in case. Yeah, exactly. So, right on. Cool, awesome. man. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate Thank you for it. Having me. Yeah, <laughs> we're shaking hands. <laughs> and cut. <laughs>